Let me say that again. Legacy wealth is not in our community anymore. It died. There, there are no black-owned car dealerships, so we're not buying from them. There, there are no big firms anymore. The John Johnson, Michigan Avenue had eight different black-owned properties that we own on Michigan Avenue in Chicago. We have zero today. Zero today. There are no black-owned car dealerships that we can purchase our vehicles from in Chicago. There's one black-owned gas station in the city of Chicago. One. And so, to your point, we're not doing it any longer. Um, so, I want to just I want to touch on the point that Reverend Jackson made first, real quick, about the work that had to be done at the shareholder meeting to get from Hewlett Packard to go from zero to four. And we're going to have, uh, I believe, we're going to have Scott Stringer this afternoon, who's the controller for New York City. And I had breakfast with him yesterday. And he told me, he said, New York City, as an investor, so it's one thing to have the advocate. It's even more powerful when you have the, the investor aligned with, with, with the advocacy. Uh, New York City pension funds, about $150 billion under management, the fourth largest public plan in the country. They have 75 uh, shareholder resolutions in this proxy season before corporations specifically attacking the issue of board diversity. Uh, the, the, these are our partners here. So um, w whether we're the tip of the spear and they come in behind us or vice versa, those are the places where um, the investors, the people who are actually the shareholders, people who actually own the companies are stepping up and saying, and they're doing it with us, they're doing it with, with CalPERS, CalSTRS, we're all doing this together, stepping up and saying, uh, this is a problem Diversity makes a company better, board diversity in particular. If that's where we're going, this is where we need everyone else to, to participate. So I think that the, the, the success in, in, in Hewlett, Hewlett Packard is example enough. We got 75 other opportunities. As it relates to the question of the numbers, um, you know, the space that I, I know best there as it relates to financial services and asset management uh, is the hedge fund industry. Uh, and, you know, in, in that industry, um, Women are about three and a half percent of assets under management in that industry. Three and a half percent. All minorities are about three quarters of one percent. Three say, quarters. Say, say that again. All minorities. Mm -hmm. um, women are what? Women are three and a half percent. All minorities. I shouldn't say all minorities. Black and Hispanic uh, and Native American uh, are three quarters of one percent of that industry um, of assets under management and African Americans are one quarter of one percent of that industry and um, not not only are those numbers appalling but when I have this conversation as a trustee of a handful of pension plans etc you know either you believe that we don't have a level playing field or you believe that Black and brown people can't add and participate in mar markets and perform basic arithmetic, um, at which I don't happen to believe that. So uh, clearly, there's a, a lack of a level playing field, and 